Thank you once again for joining me today. Today we will be remaking our Thantrioch video for the Courage Challenge. So if you come over here to your Soul Mirror, you come down here to Thantrioch, you'll choose Courage. And I want to take this opportunity once again apologize for the quality of the last video. I'm not too sure what happened to it, why the frames were as bad as it was. Thank you for everyone sticking in with me in the comments, letting me know. And then of course we will be going to choose Pelagos. We are going to come over here. Honestly, the fight is really easy. You could probably do it without any. I'm just going to go with the Deep Echo Trident just because I like to be able to interrupt one of the abilities. So for the fight, the fight starts off with him in the middle. He will stay there. He is a caster. If you come into melee range, he will melee, so make sure to stand back. So for the first phase of the fight, there are four phylacteries. There will be one here, one here, one here, and one here. You'll have to destroy one of the phylacteries to remove the shield that is protecting him. When you destroy it, he will take 20% increased damage. There will be a timer right here, of course, as it goes away, so you want to make sure to be ready to break the next phylactery as soon as it's up, or getting close to, so that way you can continue DPSing him with the 20%. During this time frame, he's going to cast Necrotic Bolt, Greater Necrotic Bolt, which you can honestly eat. They do a silly amount of damage. The thing to watch out here is called Terminal Destruction. You'll want to interrupt that with the Deep Echo Trident. And of course, continue DPSing him and destroying phylacteries as needed. If you make it to the second phase where you've destroyed all the phylacteries, he no longer casts Terminal Destruction, and he'll cast Death Blossom. So what that is, is he'll, it'll be a circle starting at his position where he is, and it will expand out from there. There are safe zones to go through. If it touches you, it will do a lot of damage. But you can mitigate that easily by using your Confront Memories, taking the shield and honestly just walking through it. Because at that point, it, you're invulnerable to it, and if you need to get to another safe zone, you can do as you need to. We, of course, will be using our main ability, Test of Faith, to DPS him. We'll be using Aspirin's Binding whenever it's up. And, of course, we'll be using Unleash as often as possible as well. The phylacteries go down really quickly, so there's really no rush to, to take them out. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to ring the bell. And just like you, please ring the bell. Hit the notifications. Subscribe. Leave a like. You can also follow me on Twitch at the underscore dab 86. I always appreciate it. And thank you, everyone, for all the comments letting me know about the quality of the last video. So let's go ahead and get this started. But this time it should be a lot smoother. So you can see the phylactery there. There he is. He's got his shield. Get him into range here. We're going to go ahead and start this fight. It's going to go like that. I'm going to take the shields and mitigate his necrotic bolts. There's terminal destruction. It is a slow cast, so you're not too in a rush here to cancel it. Just make sure you do get it off there, or else he will get it off. And then while he's taking increased damage here, let's go ahead and move him down. So he's got 10 seconds, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to start on this one. It's that one down. It's casting Terminal Destruction again. Honestly, it might hit us. That's okay. I'm not too worried on this difficulty because it is an easy fight. Go ahead and get our shield. Normally you'd want your shield up. I kind of used it a little bit early. That was my bad. But just to show you, once again, you don't want terminal destruction hitting you. And he's cast. Oh, I missed it. I didn't, I didn't use it on the right ability. That was my bad. We're going to go ahead and we're going to take the shield. And we're just going to keep DPSing him if the fight's nearly over. But it's a relatively easy fight. I did mess up there because I didn't have my shield ready. So there you go. That is the fight with Thantrock. Make sure to just uh, block his terminal destruction. Everything else is just kind of tickle damage. If that wouldn't have hit me, we probably would have been about 75 or 80% more health. Go ahead and 